So right now what I'm gonna make is a, an oil lamp out of a shell and three stones. Because when you put the three stones together, it's supposed to look just like a crab. And then I use these bracket funguses, which is a fungus that grows on the trees. And here's one that hasn't been cut up yet. They just grow on the trees. And I'll take a piece of it and cut a wick out of it. All you need is just a little thin strip. And what you do is you use the two claws to hold the wick up in place. Okay, and it'll stand straight up and you can put your oil in there and light it on fire and it'll burn just like a candle. So what I'm gonna use today is a little bit of a little bit of plant oil. And you just pour it in there and fill the shell up. You know, you don't want to pour too much in there. And make it overflow. So now that I've got the three stones set up in the uh, shell and got my wick in there and put the oil in it, it's ready to light. Uh, I just, you know, use a cigarette lighter. And as you can see, these candles burn pretty good out in the wind. A strong gust will put them out, but they burn pretty good. And if you use the right kind of wick, like bracket fungus, or if you don't have a bracket fungus, you can use jute twine or cotton, you know, a piece of cotton from your shirt, do the same thing. And this is especially useful if uh, you're at home and the power goes out and you don't have any candles and don't have flashlights or anything, you can make one of these in a matter of minutes and still have light. Now, Native Americans used to use these for decoys. You know, they would set them up on animals with them. They, they made stone sets like this of all different types. It really looks neat. You know, this three stone crab is just a simple thing, but when you put it together and it looks like a real crab, it's just stunning, awesome.